Hello everyone! Today we're going to read a book called Sharks, written by the Einstein sisters. If you want to learn more about sharks, this is the book for you. So let's take a look inside. Sharks are some of the biggest fish in the world. Whales are larger than sharks, but whales are mammals, not fish. Shark facts. There are more than 400 different kinds of sharks. Sharks live in all of the Earth's oceans. In 2013, scientists found a new kind of shark called the brown and white bamboo shark. It uses its fins to walk along the bottom of the ocean instead of swimming. What? A walking shark? <laughs> That's strange. More shark facts. Humans are one of the shark's only predators. Orcas, crocodiles, and large seals sometimes eat sharks. Fear of sharks is called galliophobia. It comes from the Greek word galios, which was the name of a kind of shark. Sharks usually live only in salt water. A few sharks, such as the bull shark, swim up rivers into fresh water. Hmm. How big are sharks? The smallest shark is the dwarf lantern shark. It is only as long as a $5 bill. Its belly glows in the dark. The largest shark is the whale shark. It is as long and as heavy as a semi-truck trailer. Wow, that's heavy. A shark's size depends on where it hunts. Sharks that feed near the bottom of the ocean are smaller than sharks that hunt in the open ocean. Hmm. Scientists found the fossilized foot of a duck-billed dinosaur that had a shark tooth in it. That means sharks probably ate dinosaurs. Sharks are older than dinosaurs. The first dinosaurs appeared about 240 million years ago. The oldest known sharks lived more than 420 million years ago. Sharks and dinosaurs. The largest shark was Megalodon. It lived about 28 million years ago. It was about 23 meters long, almost twice as big as a whale shark. Wow. That is super big. Sharks don't have bones. What? <laughs> Shark skeletons are made of strong, flexible tissue called cartilage. It's the same cartilage you have in your ears and nose. Cartilage is much lighter than bone. Having a lightweight skeleton means that the shark has more energy for swimming. Humans need a strong skeleton because our muscles are attached to our bones. A shark's muscles are attached to the inside of its tough skin. The skin acts like a sort of external skeleton. Hmm, interesting, right? Shark teeth. Sharks have many rows of teeth. If a shark loses a tooth from the front row, a new one moves forward to take its place. Sharks never get cavities. Sharks never run out of teeth. A shark can use and lose 
more than 20,000 teeth in its lifetime. The shape of a shark's teeth depends on what it eats. Great whites have large triangular teeth for ripping and tearing. Nurse sharks have smaller teeth for crushing shellfish. Shark skin. Sharks don't have scales like other fish. Their skin is covered with dermal denticles. Dermal denticles are like tiny teeth. They make the shark's skin rough like sandpaper. The dermal denticles face away from the direction that the shark swims. That allows the shark to swim faster. Barnacles and bacteria do not usually grow on sharks. Scientists study shark skin to find ways to treat bacterial infections in people. Hmm, that's interesting. Smell and hearing. Smell is the shark's most important sense. About two-thirds of the shark's brain is used to analyze smells. A shark's sense of smell is so good that it can smell five milliliters of blood in an Olympic-sized swimming pool. Wow! Sharks have excellent hearing. They can hear a fish thrashing around in the water 200 meters away. That's more than two football fields. Pretty awesome hearing and smell. Sharks can see almost all the way around. A shark has only two blind spots. It can't see anything right in front of its nose or behind its head. Sharks that live in cold water can heat up their eyes. A row of sensors called a lateral line runs along the shark's body. It helps the shark feel vibrations in the water. It can sense when fish or other prey are nearby. The shark's nose has sensors called ampullae of Lorenzini. Woo, that's difficult to say. Ampule of Lorenzini. These sensors detect electrical fields. A shark can feel the heartbeats of its prey. Sight and other senses. I guess I should have read that first. <laughs> Reproduction. Some sharks lay eggs. The eggs are protected in a case called a mermaid's purse. The egg case lies on the bottom of the ocean until the eggs hatch. Most sharks give birth to live young. A baby shark can take care of itself as soon as it is born. It looks like a miniature adult shark. Hmm. Mother sharks return to the place where they were born to give birth to their young. Baby sharks are called pups. <laughs> Not puppies, but pups. Remoras. Small fish called remoras sometimes attach themselves to sharks. Remoras hang on using a special organ that acts like a suction cup. Remoras don't hurt the shark. They eat parasites on the shark's skin. They also eat some of the shark's leftover food. In return, the remoras get a free ride. Remoras also attach themselves to whales, turtles, manta rays, and even scuba divers. Hey everyone, that's the end of part one of the book Sharks. Stay tuned for next time 
when we will continue reading and learn more about all the different species of sharks, like the great white shark, ooh, and the massive whale shark. See you then. Bye. Hi -ya! If you like that video, make sure to like and subscribe. Hi -ya, hi -ya.